So today we're going to Anders from Denmark, who's created a really neat experiment for human computer interaction that can control elements of a web page just using your body. So Anders, tell us more about yourself and what you've created. Yeah, so I'm Anders. I work at um, an agency called Hello Monday, which is a creative studio. Um, and we made a, a demo um, that uses hand posts. It started out with, we did like a, a small test with hand pose where you had your hands and you could see like in a, in a 3D Tron-like uh, uh, interface and, and, and move that around. And I think we're just thinking, well, you know, this technology is extremely fascinating just that you can, you just have a webcam and a browser, and then basically that can detect all your hand movements and, and gestures and things like that. So I think we... We talked about well, is there a use case other than maybe making something that's that's fun that that we could use it for? Um, so we ended up trying to do um, what I would say like is a is a quick take on how how would we translate um, like gestures into something that you could you could use um, like if I do this, do I move stuff and and so forth. That's and, super cool. So Very sci-fi movie like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was um, you know, back with minority report and all of that. It, That's it right. seemed like yes. that was that yeah, that was kind of the the rage and then it it faded down a little bit and and then But basically you're you're creating of... all of our dreams that we wanted, uh, making it a reality, which is awesome. And you know, I, I I've I've seen some of the demos um prior to the show, of course, and like it, it looks amazing. And uh, you know, besides being just a super fun project to try as well, this opens up a lot of kind of interesting opportunities for accessibility as well. Maybe people are not so good at moving uh, hands for the mouse. Um, having gesture recognition like this could be very useful for human computer interaction and that kind of stuff too. So I think this kind of stuff has a lot of uh, use cases in the real world as well. And it can run anywhere in the web and anywhere JavaScript can run, which is awesome. So. Maybe we can see it in action. Uh, you can show us more and tell us how it works. So we did a small website. Well, it's called touch-less.dev. So the idea here is that um, we try to see how could we make a website that you could just interact with with just your hands. So the, using different gestures. So you need to do like a, a drag gesture to move things around, and you need to do uh, like hover your hand over an object to um, to kind of select it, and, yeah, and then spread your fingers to to click it. Um, so that's kind of the basic interactions that you need to do. Um, and and so just with those three interactions, we try to uh, think about well, what what's a what's a good use case? And um, you know, we have a lot of touch screens that's kind of out in the wild when you check in for a flight or when you order a you know at a restaurant like a burger or something like that. Then you you know, we all touch the same screens and um, on those screens, you know, there's a lot of bacteria and with, you know, the situation right now, you know, it, it gets even worse. But so I think we just wanted to to explore, well, is it possible to just with hand gestures um, somehow do those same interactions? Yeah, but that's really cool. And basically, you know, given the current times as well, this is very nice. Um, you can still have input interact with a kiosk or something out in the wild and uh, you know you don't need to be touching it physically which is really nice too um, and, and also you know just to, just to point out here this is just running on a regular laptop there's no special hardware using here right it's just a regular webcam yeah yeah it's just uh, you know the Chrome browser uh, or you can do it in, in multiple browsers and, and a webcam so it's really easy just to to get it get set up and and, and try hacking away at, um, which I think is is extremely, extremely fun. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm just looking at the video right now and like it's, um, you know, really seamless interaction. It seems to be very smooth, uh, very fluid. I love the UX going on here as well. It's, it's, I, having played with this a little bit myself, it's like super fun to try and drag it around and uh, all this kind of stuff. And uh, I think as, as you mentioned, it's, it's nice to like practice a little bit, but once you get into the flow, uh, it becomes quite natural and um, second nature, which is awesome. Yeah, it takes a little bit of of getting used to. Um, I've I've tested it on uh, unfortunately a lot of people who've done a lot of things which I knew was was wrong. So it is a little, little bit like using the mouse for the first time, trying to figure out well how do I 
how do I move my hand correctly and uh, you know, like doing this and this, like remembering those gestures. So there's there's a there's a learning curve to it. So I wouldn't say you know this is more kind of proof of concept demos, but all of it needs needs more work. But it's a I think it's kind of you know someone can like use it as a as a starting point if they want to download the code and and you know try and 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 work a little bit more on it. Sure, that makes sense. And I see now you're even drawing with your hands too. So you can even be creative and artistic. So <laughs> really cool stuff. So I noticed you were speaking about using hand pose to create this. Um, was it just hand pose you used? Did you combine with any other models? Or maybe in the future, would you think of combining with other models? Could that be of use to you? I'm just curious to see where you're going uh, further down the line, maybe. Yeah, I think um, like right now we just use hand pose. Um, I'm, I, I've used a lot of the other um, models, you know, the pre-made models that have, like body picks and uh, I think there's face API JS that was out before. Uh, what's it called? Face mesh. Is Face that, mesh. Uh... Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, so, so um, you know, all of them, you know, are pretty plug and play. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out how to do something creative with it. Um, so, I think our kind of next step is to when we've done this, then we thought, well, you know, I think we want to make our start to make our own models and and figure out how do you do that uh, as well. So I think that's that's kind of the the natural next step. Awesome! I'm excited to see uh, as you progress on your learning journey uh, what you end up creating as well. Super excited to see that. And Ben, I guess the only thing I want to ask you to wrap things up here is, uh, you know, I know you've been tinkering with TensorFlow.js for a little while now, and you've made many amazing demos. You should definitely check out their their Twitter account with all their awesome TensorFlow.js demos. But how easy was it to get started with? Uh, uh, HandPose model and TensorFlow.js. Yeah, I think um, HandPose was very easy to get started with. It's you know follow the instructions on on npm or just download it via that, and 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 you're good to go. Um, I think the the documentation is is really good, and uh, I think it's a matter of the, the the hard part is is figuring out well, what should I you know how do I do something you know that you're both either creative or fun or something like that. But but getting started with it is uh, as with the other models that I've tried, um, is is really plug and play. I'd say. Where did your inspiration come from for the creative side of this? Did you just did it come to you in a dream? Like, okay, I'm going to use this gesture for that, or like how? What was your process for that? I'm just curious. Yeah, I think we we played around a lot with with hand pose and and so kind of also figuring out well what is. You know, some of the gestures it's better at than others. Uh, right. For example, yeah, but figure out the limitations. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah, like um, so, we ended up having drag, which I think can do like ninety nine percent. That's always right, and then this is ninety nine percent always right, and then we, we want really want the pinch because you know it's a little bit of lighter uh, movement that you make, but it seems like maybe that's like a ninety percent like out of our experience. You know, this depends on lighting and, and so forth, but that's how we did. So that we ended up with doing you know spread your fingers to click instead. Which is a uh, yeah bit unnatural, but it was much easier for the hand pose model to detect. So I guess yeah, that leads me on to my next question. Then is uh, what are you hoping to maybe explore in the future to improve upon this maybe or to refine this model to make it more robust for these finer grain gestures? Yeah, so um, we're actually planning on on doing a, a, another project like a follow up to this because I think we had some learnings about you know what works and and what and what doesn't work and uh also you know we want to get better at tensorflow so I, the, the next idea would be that we try and and train our own model and so for that we're making a project that we are right now it's a working title we're calling the helping hands project which will be a uh <laughs> yeah it will be a, a, just a, a website where people can can take an, a picture of their hand and then we're actually going to use hand pose as the as the starting point so that will help you find the hand and then you go in and kind of correct all the key points that maybe hand pose didn't mm, get nice. right. Yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna, uh, yeah, share you know all that the hand data set with everyone. So, I to be honest, I don't know if we we are good enough at building uh, the data set, but at least we can we can gather that. Oh, we can gather the data, but can we also train the model? But at least I'm sure you'll get there. It'll be a learning it's a, it's experience. A process. I'm sure, but 
yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you have a good time. And I, I think that's really cool, like doing that like live in the browser where you can just ask someone to do a pose. You can maybe have a video playing, like do this, and then they do that. And then they, we kind of see with the hand pose model if it got it roughly correct. And if it didn't, they can just tweak the, the points as needed to make it perfect. And then that can be submitted as the data um, for, for, that, for that pose, essentially, which is really nice and um, makes it super easy for the user to contribute. And if you get thousands of people doing this, then maybe that could lead to some really interesting results, certainly. So um, yeah, I guess we can add the link to the description as well after the show for people who are interested in contributing. And uh, please do, let's make all the machine learning models better and um, less biased and all this kind of stuff. So uh, awesome stuff. Cool. Yeah, we're hoping people will, you know, want to contribute with it and, and that we can you know, all help kind of make this better in the future. Awesome. I look forward to seeing the results. <laughs> Me too. So I guess the final thing to say here is, can people try this out right now? What is available to use and maybe what's coming? Yeah, they can try, try it out now. They can try it out at touch-less.dev. And in there, they can, they can try out the, the different demos. And the code is also open source. So everyone can go in and, and download it and, and hopefully you know, be inspired by it or make it better. It uses an uh, off-screen canvas for some of the the, the work. Um, so you unfortunately can't use it at Firefox yet, but all other browsers it should work in. And I guess the reason you did that was to have it in a separate like web worker, so it's in a separate thread or? Um... Yeah, it was kind of to offload, like so we could have the graphics uh, reacting a little bit faster. Uh, it uses some processing power, yeah. Awesome. So thanks for that. We'll put the link in the description after the show. Do go check that out. And we hope you enjoy using it as much as I have. And with that, thank you very much, Anders, for coming today and showing all the amazing things you've created. It was great having you on the show. And we look forward to seeing even more stuff from you in the future. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Jason. It was a, it was a pleasure. And a big thank you to the whole TensorFlow team. And uh, it's amazing that we get all of these open source models um, that we can that we can work with and, and, and play with. Cool. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you too.